Hello everyone, what's cracking? Today we're going to talk about how strong is the avatar and how strong are the avatars in general. We're going to talk about big fits. I'm not going to talk about like small fits, like oh he created like a wall made of earth. No, I'm going to talk about the larger scale fits made by avatars throughout the franchise. And uh, that's how we will unfold the mystery of how strong is the avatar. So first I want to talk about speed because some people seem to think that avatar characters are only super human speed. But like what? <laughs> they literally react to lightning multiple times. And the, the argument against this is that that's not real lightning. But that's dumb because we literally see Iroh. Reacting to actual lightning from the clouds. So, how can that be lightning when we see him react to actual lightning? And Zuko is prepared to be hit by lightning in one episode to redirect it, meaning that he thinks he can and he knows he can redirect it. Another thing people say, oh, those are outliers. How are there outliers if lightning bending is a consistent bending? Uh, ability it's something that people use constantly throughout the series and other people react to it constantly throughout the series you can say it's not real lightning just because you don't want them to be that speed or that's just an appeal to i don't know common sense when people say oh for sure they're not lightning speed like that that's common sense right or it's an appeal to incredulity when they say well uh they're not because i don't think they are that's just stupid. They are lightning speed. And if you disagree, let's go into Discord and talk about it. In my opinion, the most consistent scaling for a full power avatar state avatar would be probably city level. And that is, yeah, that, that's consistent. For example, we see in the novel that Kuruk was able to destroy an island and someone even mentions that someone like Kiyoshi that has mastery over earthbending, an avatar like her, if she goes into avatar stage she might even throw away land masses and a land mass it's a big it's a big statement like a land mass can equate to a continent or a country but I don't know about that one if I'm being honest. But ju just in general, put that in mind that the lore would back up that Kiyoshi can destroy a continent. Which is pretty insane. But uh, realistically, Kiyoshi can create a mountain that is not as tall as a normal mountain. But that fit still equates to being city level. And she also famously created the Kiyoshi Island, which is... Uh, city level fit another thing that is impressive is just Aang in general by manipulating a large amount of water with enough force to be comparable to destroying a town or literally earth bending a whole town and I'm not even sure my memory kind of lets me down here but this might even be base ang and not avatar state ang but as well if it's avatar state ang it my bad but still he's able to bend the whole city and Korra in the final episode I'm pretty sure is able to block an attack from a mech right she's able to block this laser which previously was able to destroy a portion of a mountain Again, another city level feat. And if you want to go further, you can look at Yenchen, who is able to bend clouds at a large scale, or Kuruk, who is able to produce massive waves, massive tsunamis, if you want. And even Kiyoshi was able to change the weather at a large scale just with her presence when she manifested herself in Aang's body when he was put at trial. And another thing is that this avatar called Avatar... I don't know, th there's no name for him. I call him Avatar Jafar. Is able 
to lava band four volcanoes. He produced four volcano eruptions. This is the equivalent of destroying a city as well. So yeah, there are multiple feats. And by the way, I'm gonna put the calculations for those feats into the description so you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, those feats are, you know, consistently down to city level. So the avatar should be consistently a city or a town buster. Some people don't like that, but it kind of is the truth, if I'm being honest. And uh, when it comes to ability, the avatars have shown being able to bend lava, bend metal, bend air, water, fire, earth, or ev most things, most things, ice, you know. So when it comes to abilities, if you want a composite avatar, wouldn't lack those. <laughs> Just say that, okay. So yeah, overall, that's how strong are the avatars. Most consistently, as I said, he would be city level, judging by an enormous amount of feats that suggest that. At least at full strength. That being said, thank you for watching the video. Can see you next time. Crack out. Bye.